In every corner of Britain, for millions of people, an office job is the norm. But now a major study has found that sitting down for at least eight hours a day could increase your chances of dying younger by as much as 60%. Scientists say inactive lifestyles are not only unhealthy, but a silent killer. Physical inactivity kills more than 5 million people a year and it causes heart disease, diabetes, strokes and lots of diseases as well. So You'll be relieved to hear though it's not all doom and gloom. If you pull your weight, like at this circuits class, you can undo the damage. Researchers say an hour of brisk walking or cycling spread over a day is enough to combat the dangers of eight hours sitting in the office. I, mean, I think it's about being organised, getting up early, probably making your lunch before you go to work, um, maybe getting up a bit early and going for a walk or a run, making that little, as you say, that little bit extra walk to the bus stop, to the uh, train station. Probably um, walking up the steps at work always helps. You can always... Don't take the lift. No, exactly. Current NHS guidelines recommend two and a half hours of moderate exercise a week, but almost half of women and one third of men fail to achieve even this. So how do you feel about cramming in an hour a day? I mean, sure, you can get away with half an hour a day, but I think saying, why don't you do an hour a day? Can't hurt to do a little bit more. And how much have you done so far? What, today? Yeah. Well, about, as I said, 25 minutes as I go into work. to it. <laughs> now, you're obviously off to the gym now. I do about 15,000 steps a day, so that's six or seven miles. Wow. And do you think it's easy to fit in an hour's exercise a day? Is that an easy thing to do, or do you struggle with that? I did it first until someone says, said to me, if your health is a priority, it shouldn't be hard. Our inactive lifestyles may be hard to change, but academics say making the first move to keeping fit isn't just beneficial, but could save lives. Minnie Stevenson, Five News.